Well, it was definitely loud and um, exciting today. I mean, we wanted to definitely do it for the kids, but we knew it was our first conference game, um, and everything counts. Everything matters, and we talked about that, just being really, really focused on, on the scout. And I felt like first quarter, we let them get too many threes, and we were just playing back, back and forth, and that's not the scout. So we really did a good job adjusting the second quarter and really making sure that we were going to own our identity on defense. And that's just who we are, getting after it, pressing, you know, forcing turnovers, getting out in transition, making easy shots shots um, and our bench was great everybody really came in and, and just gave us something so um, what a great defensive effort for our team um, that's Seahawk basketball right there and I'm very very proud of this team to get the first win at home today questions coach it seemed that your offensive attack super balanced especially in the first half and that kind of uh, led to you guys turning offense into defense as Sharita kind of said and it, uh, vice versa just talk about that a little bit yeah that was one thing that we wanted to own the tempo you know and it started with defense we felt like if we could put a lot of pressure but making sure that we played solid defense. One, t one thing about that team is they get to the free throw line a lot and they can make free throws. And we talked about, you know, letting them do the work in front of us, but really putting a lot of pressure. But we had more pressure off ball, and that was the key. We were ready to get deflections. Um, help side was early. Hands were ready. And I think that's where we played really well at. Um, and then we got out and we had some fun. You know, we shared the ball. We had some AM ones um, You know, we had some charges. And I always say in the women's basketball game, a charge is a dunk. You know, so we work on that and we track that in practice. So I just feel like our defensive effort was just, you know, they, they, get, they get excited about, you know, defense. And we cashed in and got some easy buckets. And, you know, down the stretch, uh, we wanted to be in attack mode. We came out of halftime. We talked about being more aggressive, that it was 0-0, zero, zero, and that we had to come out with a demeanor like, you know, we wanted to get to the bonus again. And we did. We got to the – we were shooting two free throws, you know, halfway through the third quarter, and we continued that to the fourth quarter. So I just give everybody um, credit. We're deep. Um, and everybody's feeling confident, so our depth really wore them out, you know, their, our depth. And I think that's, that's going to be important all years, to be able to me, have confidence in everybody on our team, which I do, and then just be ready. Even if it's a few possessions, just get out there, play as hard as you can, get a floor burn, get a tough rebound, let's get it and let's push it. The players said that you came into this game saying that your record was 0-0, zero and zero, that, you know, the non-conference was over. And just picking up this first conference, winning confidence going forward. Yeah, I mean, it was. I mean, it's zero, zero, different mindset right now. It's conference time. Everything counts. Everything matters. So you have to be tough. And, you know, Charleston leads our conference in scoring. So we talked about, believe it or not, holding them to 50. And that's 20 points under their average. Okay? And we did that today. We took pride in that. I had to really lock in and talk to them about that, um, you know, rotate people in and out to do that and wear them down a little bit. But uh, we take pride in that. And, and we've been home this year, and we have not allowed over 50 points here at the Trask. So with our fans and, of course, the kiddos today, <laughs> they were great. And they gave us good energy, too. And I know our players really wanted to do it for them. You know, I, I told a story uh, back in the day when I was in middle school, and my, co my um, teacher took me to a first – uh, actually soccer game in college and I was like wow what is this and and it started making me think about how do you go to college and what does it take to get to high school to and so forth and I think that you know we just really wanted to come out and, be, and play inspired basketball for those kids too so it's a great day I'm excited how did you get the kids or your players to go okay there's a lot of crowd here let's feed off the energy but right. the time stay focused and play with yeah yourself. great question because again it was a track meet the first quarter that's not what we want I mean, that's not Seahawk basketball. Yeah, you might see some great plays and we got out, but we want to take pride in defense, you know, getting after it, have that teal collar mentality. So we had to settle in because I think that, you know, the loud noise and the energy, you can lose sight of the game plan. And we did. We really did. And we had to regroup and really focus on um, going to second quarter. And after that, we played really good defense for three quarters and really attacked them. And, you know, we got into the bonus. We were super aggressive, but it started with our defense. Talk about why hosting a an event like Seahawks tomorrow, what you guys benefit, what you think the kids benefit, the, the region, the area, all that sort of stuff. You know, we just, again, it, it's our community, and uh, we love our community and, and the kids that, you know, some of these kids were in my camp and, and, you know, maybe some have never been on a college setting or a campus before. And so for them to come to this game and, and us, you know, play together as a team and, you know, just do the little things. And, and we just want to inspire them. And, you know, maybe somebody's going to leave here thinking, hey, what does it take? It starts with school first. You know, I have to get my grades up if I want to play sports or if I just want to get an academic scholarship. I mean, just to see a campus. So. Um, this day is special, you know, in a lot of ways. And like I just shared my story, like when I went to my first soccer game back in the day, you know, I was just like, wow, 
what's college? You know, I was young. I didn't understand it. So um, these events are amazing. But I, I definitely have to credit our marketing department. They did an absolute amazing job getting these kids here, setting it up, working like just hours and hours. I mean, give them credit because today was just amazing. And um, what do we have over 4,000 kids here, plus some of our season ticket holders. And I mean, what a big day for us. And so high fives to everybody here who put all the work in. And I'm just glad that we got the victory for everybody and we did it our way.